Okay, welcome in everybody. Episode 11 coming your way now. Well, we've got the uh, old Cummins about ready to time out to see that we've got the P pump in. And all we got to do is hang the gear, get it timed out. And uh, we're going to time this thing about 18. Um, have a, a friend of ours, or acquaintance uh, of ours, who's kind of coached a little bit on this since this is my first Cummins build. And he said, he, the way that he has done this is that he went for a little bit more horsepower. And so he timed his up around 20. And I'm going to do mine around uh, 18. This one was set in a factory at 12 and a half. That's really mild. 12 and a half is really mild. But I'm going to set this one up to 18. And so uh, we'll move it up a, a few degrees and show you how to do that. So, without any further ado, let's get after it. We're going to try to get this thing timing set, get the cover on it, get it all gasketed in and done today so we can start hanging all the various things permanently on the front to try to get this thing ready to put in the truck next week. Uh, there's a couple of things that you have to make sure that you are certain of, and that is that you have the uh, timing pin on the cam gear set and that you have the flag on the pump set. Both of them have uh, points in which you push in the flag or the, uh, the pin, and it confirms that you're in top dead center. I've already confirmed it, but let me show you where they are. You people that are familiar with, uh, uh, that are familiar with Cummins, you can just kind of go get you a cup of coffee or something right now, because we're gonna look around a couple of things here. All right, let's turn on the, turn on the flashlight. We'll take a look around. All right, we're going up underneath the P-pump here. This is the, uh, uh, this is the cord that, um, uh, the line for the oil, the oil connects right there. There is the pin right there, and that is for the cam. And you'll notice I've got it in right now. See that, got it in. That's just a keeper that's dangling there. I'll, I'll fix that here in a little bit. Okay, so that's in the hole. Uh, here is the uh, flag for this. It's right here. And uh, we've already taken it out and we've jammed it in there and it, the flag is right. Now we've turned it back over to where the flag is not holding it. And the reason why is because when we set the timing on this thing and we tighten the nut down, every once in a while that, uh, that P-pump will turn just a little bit. And if it does, it'll break that thing. So I would rather go back, reset it, start over than to break it. Uh, nothing, no harm in uh, resetting it, doing it again. It's a pain in the rear, but uh, I'd rather do that than break it. I already broke the, uh, the timing pin going into the cam once. Uh, here's the dead soldier right here. Notice it's sheared. <laughs> So I had to go buy a little cheapo and uh, replace. This is the factory one, man. Of course, it's 27 years old, and so it breaks easy. So I got another one. It'll probably break just as easy because it's a cheapo. That's what you're looking for on this time. All right, let's take a good look and see what we've done since you last were able to get with us. Mounting this P-pump just kind of makes the, makes the engine come alive, doesn't it? Uh, you'll notice that I have not connected the uh, oil yet down here as I have a new uh, steel braided line that I'm going to be putting on there. All of these have been put on and they've all, all of these have been put on and all of them have had thread lock put in them so they don't come loose. One of the things that happened when we, when we shipped this thing in and we pulled it apart is that this, this one right here, this one had broken off and had fallen down into the crate. So this thing was without, without support. The whole P-pump was out support. And if you're without support, it's going to break this whole housing in here. So anyway, we've got the, the P-pump all ready. It's all bolted in. And of course, the bolts to these things are just a booger bear to get back there and get those bolts in. See if I can get the light up here so you can see what I'm talking about.
and back over here you'll notice we've got all the hot side just about ready we're going to finish up uh, closing up all the gaps get everything mounted over here uh, Mike Fuchs who is uh, a consultant on this is setting up my connection my uh, bracket for the alternator uh, upgrade over here so I can come straight across with all my Ford stuff okay let's get to timing all right well one of the first things that you have to do is you have to make sure that this is absolutely without any kind of oil inside of it both the inside of the cog and up here on the shaft both of them you uh, have to go out with acetone because you cannot have any kind of lubrication in there it's also it's good to do the the washer and the uh, uh, the bolt as well so that when you uh, bolt everything down that there's nothing that's going to uh, let it unseize because we're on a tapered shaft here there's no key the way in which you're able to adjust the timing is that you pull it off the shaft and if you had the cover on it you would just uh, leave it on there with the nut and you'll see what I do here in just a second. But what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna to have to clean this shaft, the inside of the gear, and both of these to make sure there's abs it's absolutely pristine clean and there's no lubrication inside there, no oil left. Okay, we uh, have new gloves on. Uh, this is one of those places you don't wanna contaminate. So new gloves on, fresh clean rags, acetone, and everything that we're getting ready to uh, put together down here. So let's get to cleaning this up and uh, we will uh, put the gear on and bolt it down. Okay, you can find uh, you can find people all over the uh, YouTube and everywhere to be able to show you how to do this, and uh, they're much more educated about this stuff than I am. But I'm going to tell you what I have learned and the way that we're going to set this. Now, you look over here on the tag that's on here that tells you how the factory set it, and uh, we'll show you here that it's set on a 12.5 uh, as far as the timing is. Like I said earlier, that is really mild. But uh, since we have more fuel we're gonna be using, we're gonna be uh, uh, spiking it up a little bit, we're gonna advance it. And uh, we're not gonna go up into, up into the 20s. We're gonna leave it below 20. We're gonna put it at 18. Um, and we might do 17 and a half, I don't know. But anyway, we'll do about 18. And the principle of this thing is, is that you have your flag uh, in your P pump set. Uh, I'm going to uh, pull the flag out here in, in the P pump and show it to you and, and show you that I have it set. So it's at zero, uh, it's at top dead center. Timing mark here shows you it's at zero. I've got the ring around here, top dead center is zero. Now, uh, the only thing that you want to make sure to do is on these little magnetic, these little magnetic uh, degree marks is that once you get top dead center, then make sure that you've got this set square on the, on the red zero. And you use yourself a little pointer that comes down here. I just manufactured this out of, out of some barbed wire uh, on the non-barb side. And uh, so come across from one of these and come straight down. Now we're going to take the slack out of it by moving it, by moving it uh, uh, counterclockwise uh, and then as we come back towards it, that takes the slack out of it. So we're gonna move it back to about 20, and then we're gonna move it forward into the 18. Okay, so right here is the flag, and uh, I've kept it upright most of the time now, now it's at a tilt, so there's going to be a gob are you familiar with the term gob? <laughs> we make gob of oil come out of here. Uh, we'll catch it. Best we can anyway. Here we go. Okay. 
All right, so here is the uh, flag uh, bolt cover. And um, there is the flag side. It's plastic, and so you can't turn the thing or it'll break it. But you can tell when you are at the right position. So we will put this in like this at the end and uh, close it up and then nothing hurts. But right now, we're gonna be checking to see if our flag is correct uh, on inside of here. And so what we're gonna do is look, now that it's just dripping. And I'm looking in here for my flag. Let me go get a flashlight and All right, so we're looking up in here for my flag. I see it up there. So this should fit in there just fine, it does. So that tells me that this is set at my 12.5 degrees. That is set at my 12.5 degrees. And now we're going to rotate the engine without rotating this. And then that will bring us up to our 18. Okay, so we want to make sure that this pin is uh, pulled. We know that it's uh, already sitting uh, at top dead center and so I'm going to pull this pin out. Pull the pin out here. Here we go. There we go. It's out. It's out. It's out. See that one doesn't, isn't sheared. So I'll put it back in there. Now, at the end of this timing thing, then what we'll do is we'll shove it back in, make sure that it's still set there. And then we shall move this to our 18 degrees. This should be, set, this should be able to be flagged at 18 once we tighten up the nut. Okay, you'll see how it happens. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, uh, the, the engine uh, rotates uh, clockwise. So we're gonna back it up counterclockwise so it's gonna be before your, your timing. And we're gonna take it way on back past our timing mark, which is a five, five and a half, because 12 and a half and five and a half make 18. Uh, and so we're gonna take it on, on back with bar uh, past where we're gonna be, and then we're gonna take it to the point where we want it to be, right? All right, so now you can see we're sitting there at about, uh, let me get you in front so you can see it a little bit better. There we are. All right. So we're sitting there at about um, 12 degrees. And so we're going to bring it back to five and a half and try to do without going past it so we don't have to back it up. So here we go. Come back to five and a half. There she is. Ah, right, there she is at five and a half. Now we're gonna tighten the nut down up here. Now we're gonna tighten the nut down up here. As she said. Now, in order to keep this from turning, we have to bar it in here so that that does not turn anymore. Since I'm going to be pulling it like this, it's going to be wanting to go in here. So I'm going to put a little bar right in there so it doesn't turn. Okay, so the first one we're going to push, uh, tighten it to is to 11 foot pounds, and then we'll take it up to 144. Let's do the 11 first. So this is basically it slipping up into the, there's 11 right there, all right? That did not turn any, so that's good. Now I'm gonna reset this to 144. All right, now we have this reset to 144. Make sure that, that does not turn. 144 is pretty good.
there she is. All right. Yeah, I won't. Well, I could. I did. We're dead. We're good. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to get that out. All right, so that's your timing. It is set up now. We're at 18 degrees. Okay, so now we have the uh, timing set on our peat pump up to 18, which is a higher performance. Um, you get more efficient. And we are set to do this, to pull this off, take our little wire off, take our little uh, bolt off there. Now we're gonna seal this, put this up, because we're through in here. Finally, we're gonna close this up and uh, get it all ready to, to uh, seal and mount all the equipment up front, the alternator and all the other stuff. None of this stuff has been torqued down yet, it's just up there. So we're getting ready to get all that done. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at the RTV we've got. I'm using hot on this. Um, make sure that you uh, don't have little gaps like that. I'll go back here and seal that all the way around. Okay, so we got to get the uh, got to get the seal done, and uh, I've already RTV this side. We're gonna get it on. Here we go, let's get it on first. Get the seal in there. Go for the uh, deep bolts. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for going to join us here at Pops Mother Road Free Bird Report. And I appreciate you being here and following along with this. Episode number 11 is in the books. You're here with me. Thanks for being a part of it. See you next time.